Professor Eumaeus was a huge help in Odysseus's return and overtaking the suitors. And like, I don't, I don't think without Eumaeus, all, any of that could have been possible. Because like, Odysseus came home and he stayed there, and so Eumaeus just like gave him shelter, and he was a really great help, even though he didn't even know it was Odysseus. Like, he still was helping, and he was a great help, and he also like helped raise um, Telemachus. Telemachus. What? Telemachus. Telemachus. <laughs> okay. Um, you said that Eumaeus was a great help, even though you didn't recognize him. When your king comes up back after 20 years, I can more than understand that, okay, you, you won't recognize him off the bat, but at the same time, don't you believe that Eumaeus would have been of more help to Odysseus if he had taking the time to kind of dig into his past and stuff. Like, when, I don't well, know, when he, some beggar comes to my house, like, I'm not just going to help them with whatever they want. I'm going to kind of, like, ask for some details and background before <laughs> I just give them whatever they need. Well, if he, he was respecting him, he probably knew that the beggar would have, like... like probably, can I just say? <laughs> okay, well, it's a sense of respect to, like, Comic let corner. them have their space and maybe if he didn't want to share who he really was. Like, obviously, there was a reason he was hiding his identity. And Eumaeus just knew that. And, like, he... How do we know for sure that Eumaeus... How do we know exactly what Eumaeus' gut was? For all we know, Eumaeus could have just gone around the simple pig farmer and stuff and not really questioned any of his motives. Or we don't know about his intuition. Well, so it's... it's more trusting. I mean, it's not like now, like, he actually cared to help him, and it was nice enough that he helped him. He shouldn't really have to dig into his past. Yeah, I'm not denying that it's nice to help people, but it's like, when he, before you give a lot of help to someone, you should probably find out a little bit about themselves, and if you may have taken the time to do that, I think he could have made himself much more helpful to Odysseus. And Odysseus didn't want him to know who he was, or else he would have told him. Like, there's a reason how, Athena how it is, disguised him, too. Like, how would Odysseus have known if you may have sort of helped him or not? <laughs> Odysseus has been gone for 20 years. Well, Odysseus can't... Odysseus didn't have any control over it, either. Athena's the one that disguised him, and Eumaeus was just... Odysseus just still has a mouth. He still has a gold right? Well, Athena's a god, but... He can, <laughs> he can still talk to Eumaeus. Odysseus' voice was taken away by him. Well, how is that Eumaeus' fault then? Oh. Odysseus just didn't talk. It's not, but Eumaeus should have. I guess I'm just saying, when some stranger comes to my door, I'm going to try and ask for a little bit of background information at the very least before so I get them. It's bad that he's being respectful. No, it's not. I'm not saying dig in all these details. I'm just saying kind of find ways to convenience yourself and just ask for a little bit more background information. Comment Warner. You may have just accepted him without even trying, that's not very logical. <laughs> <laughs> okay. okay, thank you. You guys are a little off the track. We are trying to decide whether you may have a tremendous guy or not. <laughs>